let's solve this system of three equations with three variables. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine two equations, and I'm going to make a third equation. So what, what do orange and green make? Let's pretend like it makes red. I'm going to combine these two equations, and I'm going to get rid of one of my variables. Mm -hmm. So let's multiply through by negative 1 up here. Mm -hmm. Because that way, when I combine them, the x's will be gone. In fact, the y's will be gone. Mm -hmm. uh oh, that makes this an easy problem. And the z's, so really I've already solved mm -hmm. for one of my variables. Negative 5z equals negative 15. Mm -hmm. I combine those two equations together, and that's what I got. Which means I already found one of my variables, z equals 3. Mm -hmm. This is an easy problem because uh, two of the variables disappeared right away. But let's still go about and do this. What do green and purple make? Let's pretend like it makes gray. Hey, I'll see ya. All right, so when I combine those together, remember, I want to get rid of my x or my... I want to get rid of my x or my y. So I'm going to multiply this bottom equation through by a negative... Uh, I'll multiply the green one through by a negative 1 again because now these two x's the x terms negative x plus a positive x because remember I'm combining the purple mm -hmm. and the green equation the x's will be gone mm -hmm. I'll have a negative 3y minus 2z equals uh, what is that 12 mm -hmm. this is where I like to write my z's with little lines through them so that you can distinguish them from the twos. Mm -hmm. Now, if I if this red equation, if I hadn't gotten rid of my y as well, mm -hmm. at this point I would combine those two equations just like a 2 by 2 equation yeah. and I would find y and z. Okay. But I don't actually have to do that cuz I already mm -hmm. can see that z is 5. Is 5. So or this three. is yeah. 3, right? Z equals 3. Mm -hmm. So this is an even easier problem because now I can just plug 3 in here and mm -hmm. solve for y, mm -hmm. and then I can plug 3 in here, mm -hmm. and whatever I get for y into here, and solve for x, okay. and then I can check all of them, so I'm going to do that quickly. So when I f do that, I'm going to solve for y, I get negative, whoops, minus 6 equals 12, add 6 to both sides, 18, negative 3y, y equals negative 6, so my y is negative 6, so I'm going to plug it in there, and so I'm going to rewrite this purple equation, plus 12, plus 9 equals 27, so that's 21 equals 27, x plus 21 equals 27, which means x equals positive 6. So here my, my solution is 6 comma negative 6 comma 3, and I can test that by plugging those back in here. Now I'm going to go back to my, I'm going to erase those negative signs from before so I'm not confused. I'm going to plug in 6, negative 6, and 3 and see if it works. And you see that it does because the 6 and the negative 6 cancel out. 3 times 5 is 15 and that works. And I can also check it in the first equation because remember it's got to work in all three equations. So I'm going to plug in 6, negative 6 and 3 and sure enough that works as well. Again this was an easier example because we got a z right away you don't usually get lucky but that's the process for solving systems of three equations with three variables.